So it's been five years now and I haven't upgraded my computer and I've been having some trouble as well. I've been having some issue and you know, certain applications just, I don't know, it just crashes and I don't know how to fix it right now. And I've done everything in here. Everything's slowing down. My graphics card is also outdated now. Um, I'm not like a PC expert, but what I'm going to do is that I'm not going to throw this PC out, whatever I have right now, but I'm going to keep it. And I might be doing like a dual PC streaming or a, you know, this PC can be dedicated for one thing that I'm going to be using for later on. Or maybe I can pass it on to my brother. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with it, but I'm really looking into getting a new PC. And I also need your help here to kind of help me because there's a lot of players in here that are very experienced when it comes to PC. Now, I know we are a mobile, you know, dedicated, you know, channel, but I think in this five year span that we've been doing mobile, I think it's time for us to go into the big boys, into the pro league and get into PC gaming as well. So I want to get a amazing PC that will allow me to stream, that will allow me to show the game without any lag, that will allow me to, you know, just stream this with ease. And I've been looking in this Alienware. Now I've had Alienware before. This is my, you know, old video where I did an unboxing for Alienware. Back then, the game that we were playing is called Rise of Civilization. And, you know, it's gone a long way in here. So pretty much this is my um, unboxing. If you haven't seen it yet, just search Shinchi42 Alienware. This is, we did a stream video on this one. And let's take a look into the stats that I currently have. This is what I did have. So I have the RTX 2070, as you can see here, GE Force NVIDIA. And what we've got here, um, 512 gig RAM and SSD for that one, all right, very low, two TB uh, SATA storage in here. Intel i7, that was the best at that time. Now we have i9, so I've been looking into i9s now. And my, I don't think, oh yeah, there we go. And my RAM is 32 gig RAM. So as you can see, when we look into my memory, it is 32 gig RAM in here. So there's a lot of things have changed now with, you know, everything with the computer world. So I have been thinking, which one is the best? I've been looking into the Aurora R15 gaming. I've been looking into the R16 as well, but this one is going to be only 32 gig. Now, I've also been looking into the Crosshair as well, 64 gig. All right, and then we're also looking into Omen. I don't know which one is the best, so we're gonna look into this a little bit. I'm gonna kinda read things in here and see, but as you you know watch this video, if you see something in here and you have a better recommendation, please let me know. If you have a specific build as well that you want to recommend and it's going to cost less than all of these, please let me know. If I can save some money, um, I will definitely uh, you know try to do that. And the same time is that I've never built yet, so maybe it's a good, you know, project as well to do. Another thing that we're going to talk about in here is that I'm going to give my way in as well, which one I'm really leaning into buying in here. So I'm looking into Omen. All right. So 45 L, I guess that's leader. I'm not, you know, PC pro. My brother is so much better than me when it comes to PC. He's a computer science guy. I'm a bio guy. All right. So um, this is an Intel i9 16 gig. So I don't know if this is pretty high. All right, 16 GB, not a whole lot. Like this is my laptop is 16 GB. It's like it's it's slow. It's not it's not something that I want. So I think with this one already with the Omen, this is the highest price I've seen for Omen. Um, is RTX 4090. I think with that 16 gig RAM is very slow. And if we're gonna get into PC gaming, I don't think this is gonna be the best. And for me to multitask and edit. This is going to be very hard. So I'm not just thinking about it for gaming perspective, but we're also thinking about it for editing perspective. I don't really know if Intel is better or is the other one. The, the AMD is better when it comes to editing as well. But I need both to function for me. Or maybe I should get an Apple Tower for editing purposes only. Maybe I can do a dual... Uh, dual PC streaming or dual, sorry, dual PC connection or something. I know there's such a thing. I haven't really navigated into this yet. All right. So now let's take a look into the um, Crosshair. Um, I'm also going to look into Predator, actually. I forgot to look into it, but we'll go into Predator as well. So in the Crosshair, this is the one that I saw. So this is a Intel i9. All right, 13900 KS. I don't know what these KS means or the numbers is. I just know if it's i9, it's good. So yeah, this is an i9 and it has a 4090, similar to this one is 4090. All right, 
4090 RTX. So the storage is 4 TB, 2X, 2 TB. So split SSD, which is good. Now, this is going to cost about $4,000, almost $4,500. So that's pretty pricey for this. But is this the best? Um, 64 gig, that's good. The graphics card RTX 4090, that's also good. So I was looking into the Alienware, though, over here. Um, I was looking at the, the mini one in here, this Aurora R16. This one is a bit of a compact size, but the only biggest RAM that they have here is 32 gig. I know you can upgrade the RAM, but for this build, it's 32 gig, one terabyte SSD, and 4070. It's not even 4090 that we have seen here. This is 4090, which is, I assume, that is going to be a higher and a much better graphics card to use. So if we're going to go into heavy games in PC, we will want to have the best setup in here. Like I said, we're thinking about moving into the big leagues and you know slowly transition into some of the PC games. I've always been a PC gamer and you know through time I've you know enjoyed the mobile gaming, but we're thinking like well, if we get into PC games, it might be a different environment. And at the same time, we can grow from there as well. And, and one more thing is to mention is that PC games, like, you know, you buy things in there, you're one and done, and then you can just enjoy. So thinking about this Aurora R15 gaming desktop as well. So this one is where I'm kind of leaning into to where, like, I think this is the best option out of all. I think Alienware is just more superior than everybody else. But I might be biased because I already have an Alienware. So you guys give me the uh, proper, like, you know, advice in here because I know most of you guys are more expert than me. Some of you guys have maybe built a PC. So feel free to comment and make it as detailed as you can. And by the way, if you like this video and helping me out, don't forget to subscribe and smash like as well. So I'm looking into the future in here. Let's investment into our business of Shinchi 42. For most of you guys, we've entertained you guys. So this is thinking like, how can I further entertain all of you guys here in this channel? My goal is to make you guys happy. And I'm, you know, this is my equipment to you know, basically get that done for you guys as well. So 13th gen Intel Core. So is anybody that I just looked at, is it 13th gen? So it didn't indicate if it's a 13th gen, um, you know, Intel Core in here. It didn't really specify. I, I don't know why. Um, actually here, it is a 13th gen for this one. Um, it didn't really have a good specification here if it's going to be a 13th gen or not. So in here is going to be a 13th gen iCore i9 and 13900KF. What does KF stands for? See, I see F in here and I see KS. What is KS? What is KF? Um, yeah, this one doesn't even have any of that. So... I wonder what it is. If you guys know what it is, help me out. Help a brother out in here. Kind of explain things in here. I'm a noob when it comes to PC. And I admit it. And this is why I'm making this video so I can seek some help. And it says your RTX 4090. And I think you can change it. Um, there's some, you know, choices in here. Oh, uh, I know that I saw 4090 Ti or something like that. Or maybe it doesn't have this option for this one to upgrade the graphics card. I think this is the best graphics card then. Um, it has 24 gig into the graphics card. I assume that is the memory for the graphics card. 64 gig, which is what I'm looking for. Two times 32 gig in here, basically. I think I can open this thing up and then I can add more RAM as well. Maybe I'll go buy some RAM so I can just have a super powered uh, desktop in here for gaming. Now, like I said, we're not going to... You know, this is not just only going to be for mobile gaming because mobile gaming, you know, we, we, we sometimes use a power to project or sometimes we just have the mobile gaming, uh, you know, like applications as well as well. So um, I think we're going to move into a lot of the PC gaming as well and other things in here. So this thing, uh, four terabytes SSD, that's what I'm going to go for. And we got a lunar light. I guess that's just for like aesthetic in here. And we have a uh, liquid cooling and clear side panel. So this is what I'm thinking of getting at this moment, unless somebody convinced me otherwise. Um, this is something that I'm going to do. Oh, I have a question. Do I need this? Do I need to increase my memory in here? So you can see uh, from uh, 4,800 hertz, millihertz or megahertz, I guess, megahertz uh, to 5,200 megahertz. Should I do an overclock? That's the thing. If it's $100, I think it's worth it if it's going to make things better. I don't think I need to upgrade my storage, though. I think we can just keep it this way. Um, 
I think that's pretty much it. And I'm going to have this um, Lunar Light rear cable cover. So I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to add that one. And I don't know what autopilot is. Um, so this one will come into 4,000. 4, so this one will come into 4,500. But if I try to buy this right now, there is a coupon, save 350. So I go skip the accessories. We don't want any accessories. Next, going to cart. So it says here, save. 350. So if I apply the coupon in here, it is going to be $4,500 in here. So 4,500 roughly in here. Now, if I build, so I think I've put in everything in here. So if this is something that if I'm going to be building the PC, um, it's going to cost me about 2,900, but this is not including the frames yet. I've only added in here the liquid cooling here, MSI, and we've added, we've added a SSD drive for four terabyte. And then we've added a 64 gig RAM. And we've added a um, graphics card as well, 4090, 24 GB. So that's the most expensive part. And then the Intel iCore i9, you know, so this is going to cost right around $3,000. And we haven't even added the frame and the other things that is needed, which I don't know what else I'm, I'm needing if I'm going to be building it. And it's already coming close to the price point where we are at in here. So I need a little bit of advice in here. So let's take a look into Predator Gaming. I didn't know this is made by Acer. So let's go into desktop. I know Predator Gaming is pretty big as well. I don't know if they are better than um, Alienware though. So 64, so I'm really just looking for a 64. So let's go over here. What we need is standard memory, 32 gig only, 4090. So what happens if I do this? Oh, all right, so what I want 64 gig, maybe they don't have 64 gig. Let's click apply. This is their best one in here. 32 gig RAM only. Wow. Um, this is actually about 4,500 already. So this is crazy. 4,500. But the PC that we have in the Alienware seems to be better. Is this better? Oh, no. I don't know. Um, 32 gig RAM maximum memory support 64. I wonder what's the maximum memory support for the Alienware though. So I think just looking at this in comparison to the Alienware in here, I feel like this is just more superior for the price point of what we're trying to get. And um, I wonder how I can figure out what is my maximum RAM capacity though. Maybe it's depending on the slots that I have in the, in the PC. So another thing that I'm wondering in here is what is the difference between if I purchase a Windows 11 Pro in English or just Windows 11 Home. So it's $95 difference in here. Well, I looked it up a little bit. So looking in here, you can see if I have Windows um, 11 Home, um, I guess there's a lot of differences in here as well. But the biggest thing that I saw is um, there is the RAM capacity in here. So for the Home, we can only get like 128 gig. And then for the Pro, we can increase it up to two terabytes. So I can upgrade, I guess. And then the maximum number of CPU, I guess this is the core, 64 core in here and then 128. So when we talk about the maximum CPU core, is this what it means by this Intel, right? This Intel core, I have 24 core. So I have definitely able to increase it to 64 or to 128. How do you even increase the, um, oh, I'm lost. How do you even increase the core? Because you only get that one chip though, an i9. So is there an i9 that is a maximum core in here with 64 you know, core or a 128 core i9? Is that even a thing? Anyway, if you guys are going to help me out in here, <laughs> make sure to leave a comment and uh, make it as detailed as you can and as basic as you can, as if you're talking to a child because I am noob and I'm trying to learn. And I'm not afraid to say that I'm noob. I'm trying to learn, all right? Please help me out. <laughs> but anyway, this is where I'm at right now. I'm in this dilemma right now that I don't know which one, but I do know that I need to upgrade my PC because every time I try to uh, record a game that is involving PC game, every time I run it through my OBS, it's just so choppy and, and, and laggy. 
I don't know why, and I think it's time for us to upgrade. Plus, we need a better graphics card because we are still using 2070 graphics card. It's old already. Four years old graphics card. It's insane. So let me know. All right. Let me know. And just help me out in here. Help a brother out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time.